Marcelo has just had his Fluminese contract torn up and honestly, this is not how we thought things would end up when he left Europe to return to his boyhood club in 2023. This made us think about other times that this has happened in football. These are five players whose fairy tale homecoming totally sucked. Of course, we'll start with Marcelo. After conquering Europe, Marcelo decided to return to Brazil in 2023 and join Fluminense, where it all started for him. His first year back was really good. He helped them win the Campeonato Carioca and the Copa Libertadores, and it was really looking like a fairy tale. But in a recent game, everything came crashing down. The Fluminense coach was trying to bring Marcelo from off the bench, but the former Real Madrid man appeared to be in a disagreement with something the gaffer was saying. So, so the coach changed his mind and sent Marcelo back to the bench. A couple days later, the defender's contract was torn up and he left the club immediately. For someone who was at the club for a total of six years, this just didn't feel like the right farewell. But oh well. Next up is Romelu Lukaku. Chelsea had initially bought Lukaku in 2011, but he had to leave because there just wasn't space for him in the squad. But after he went elsewhere and became a man, Chelsea felt confident to bring him back home. Home. In 2021, shortly after winning the Champions League, Chelsea spent 115 million euros to bring Lukaku back to Stamford Bridge, making him the club's record signing at the time. They felt really confident that that was the signing that was going to help them win the Premier League, but it only ended up making them worse as a team. Long story short, Lukaku was a flop at Chelsea. He fell out with the coach, missed so many chances, and just did not click at the club. One year after he was signed, Lukaku was gone and he never returned. That homecoming totally sucked. Adama Traore is another guy who belongs on this list. For those who don't know, this guy is a product of Barcelona's La Masia Academy. He was at the club for 11 years between 2004 and 2015 before leaving and moving to England where he played for different clubs. Anyway, in 2022, he found his way back to Barcelona, joining the club on loan in the January transfer window. There was an option to buy in the loan contract, so the hope was that he would do well in those few months and earn a permanent deal at his boyhood club. Basically, he did not score a single goal for Barcelona during his entire loan spell. No, not one goal. And as expected, the club did not make his deal permanent. It surely was not the homecoming any of the parties envisaged. Another Real Madrid legend who's on this list is Cristiano Ronaldo. When it was announced that Ronaldo would be returning to Manchester United in 2021 after 11 years away, it absolutely broke the internet. United fans were super excited that their boy was coming home. Nothing could be better than this. This was truly a fairy tale. And the fairy tale actually started great. On his first game back, Ronaldo scored two goals against Newcastle and Old Trafford erupted. Manchester United fans were in cloud nine. Ronaldo would go on to score more and more goals that season and life was great. But then Oli got sacked and things started to go downhill from there. Rangnick wasn't great, but Ten Hag was worse. Just a couple games into the new season, Eric Ten Hag relegated Cristiano Ronaldo to the bench and that started a whole big issue. Then when Ronaldo walked out on the team in that infamous Spurs game, it signalled the beginning of the end. Eventually, Ronaldo gave an interview with Piers Morgan where he said all sorts about Manchester United, the managers, the facilities and the management. All of this led to Ronaldo's contract being terminated by the club immediately and he left in November 2022, eventually joining Al Nasser in January 2023. This was so Certainly not the end that we thought Cristiano Ronaldo's fairy tale homecoming would have. Far from it. But if you think that's crazy, come and find out about Paul Pogba. This one is a double barrel. Pogba first joined Man United in 2009 and was there for three years before leaving to join Juventus in 2012. At Juventus, the boy became a man. He won league titles, played in a Champions League final, and basically established himself as one of the best young players in the world. Seeing all that, 
fact, United felt confident about bringing him back home, so they went ahead and made him the most expensive player in the world at the time. He was certainly worth it. As you know, it ended up being a disaster. Pogba was bullied and targeted by fans and the media, and he fell out with Jose Mourinho, even eventually revealing that he struggled with depression during his time at United. Anyway, following the expiration of his United contract in 2022, Pogba left England and went back to Juventus for another homecoming. Having had a really good time at Juventus in his first stint, he thought it was the perfect destination for him after a very tough few years at United, but the homecoming sucked so bad. He was injured for almost the entire time, and when he came back, he was found guilty of doping which led to a four-year ban from football, later reduced to 18 months. Pogba is set to return to football in 2025, but Juventus have confirmed that he won't be playing for the club again. Though those are two fairy tale homecomings which totally sucked for Pogba. Damn. An honorable mention would be Ilkay Gundogan. It's still too early to call, but since he returned to Man City after one year at Barcelona, he's not looked like the same guy who captained the club to a treble only last year. And City fans seem to be losing patience with him. But like we said, it's still too early to call. Let's see if he can still pick up somewhere along the line. Are there more players whose fairy tale homecomings absolutely sucked? Feel free to share some names in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.